already know what time it is. We back at it again. It's the kid. It's your boy, A T L E N Z. A A A. All my aliens. Y'all with the resident alien. Hey, you talking about? So, yes, sir. We got this. Uh, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. CNN. I gotta go to CNN. So I'm strolling, I'm strolling on, I'm strolling down the update, seeing what's going on, seeing what's trending, and y'all know how the videos always popping up, you know, the uh, computer always suggesting little videos and stuff, so I'm just, I'm scrolling, where that video at? I was scrolling and shit, okay, we gotta go to videos, scrolling, I'm like... I was listening to a music video, really. But then I see this shit right here. Like, look at this shit. Come on now, man. You know, hold I on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the... Just look at the look at the picture. Really? Are we doing this? What happened to the days where niggas was crazy? Like, like people got their lives ruined. Like, people was picked on and shit and bullied over shit like this like and this shit is on cnn we got a fucking ufo spaceship like a spaceship with a fucking ufo head in that motherfucker like really man oh barack obama just said something very what he said man he something very majored interesting about ufos hmm but I just wanted to show the world, like, this is the shit we into now, like, CNN. It, it, yeah. Like, this shit on CNN and shit. We thumbnails of fucking spaceships and all that shit. Y'all need to be seeing all that. You know, I majored in watching the X-Files reruns in college, so... So yeah. let's get into this shit. Yeah, so we about to get into this... I don't know, man. I just want to see what the hell they talking about, really. Like, at the end of the day, it's just funny as hell. Like, CNN is popping, like, thumbnails with fucking UFOs in it. Like, that's crazy. Like, people was bullied. <laughs> you know, I majored in watching the X-Files reruns in college. So, yeah, I guess you could say I'm something of an expert on UFOs. You could say that. Barack Obama, he's, he's just like us. Well, in one way at least. The former president of the United States wants to know whether there really are other life forms out there. In an appearance on The Late Late Show in mid-May, Obama confessed Hold this. On. The truth is that when I came into office, I had... Hold on, man. I want to see that, um, that picture of the gray. Was could say that. Barack Obama, he's, he's just like us. Well, in one way at least. The former president of the United States wants I want to see the gray. I'm trying to see really what's the, the, the gray. Other life forms Look, right there. there. Oh. Oh, man. Look at your boy back there. Damn. See, this nigga don't look like this nigga, but they, they look alike, but it's like... Alright, see, I was trying to see like what type of gray is he. Like, it's different type of gray. Like, really... A gray is a name for a type of gray. <laughs> that shit confusing in the motherfucker, right? That don't even make sense. A gray is a name for a type of dumb type of beings. But it's other type of dumb type of being, these type of beings. But anyway, them niggas, they look alike. This one back here look like he could be something else. Like he ain't just gray, like he... He another fucking type of great, but nah, but anyway. In an appearance on The Late Late Show in mid-May, Obama confessed this. The truth is that when I came into office, I asked, right? I, I was like, all right, you know, is there the lab somewhere where we're keeping the uh, <laughs> alien specimens in spaceship? Uh, and, uh, uh, my, you know, they did a little bit of research and- Oh, I just, uh, I just caught on. <laughs> the answer was no. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, he was joking. Wait but minute, then Obama on. said, Hold on, wait a minute. Did he say no? 
Hold on, wait a minute. I ain't going back far enough. Uh, uh, my, you know, they did a little bit of research, and uh, uh, the answer was no. <laughs> okay, he was joking. But oh, I just need to keep watching some more because I'm about to say that's that's straight cap, all cap. We already know. Like, come on, man. Do you think he's smooth? Then Obama said more about UFOs, and this is where things See, look. got. See, remember how I was just saying how they different? Like, golly, I don't know a better way to break this down. Like, it's different species, you know what I'm saying? Like, the gray, we just call them the grays, but what you think of the gray would, would get it, would, would might be insulted. Like this show, Resident Alien. <laughs> hey, shout out to my show. We gotta do the review. But it's different species and shit. But like, look at this, look at this nigga. Like, they finna show him. Okay, he was joking. But then Obama said more about UFOs. And look, this see, look at him. See his head. See that motherfucker head and his eyes and even it might be his fingers and shit. It's, di it's ways you can tell like who who what's what. But he different from the other two. The the other picture they had in the beginning of the video. He different. He don't look the same like them. He got a whole nother head and shit. But I don't, it's just for my own damn good. I'll be curious and wanting to know like who who and all that shit. But anyway, CNN crazy ass posting thumbnails of goddamn. We got UFOs and fucking spaceships. You know what I mean? CNN, twenty twenty one. It was time we in. Is where things got really interesting. There's Obama again. What is true? Uh, and I'm, I'm actually being serious here, is, is that uh, there are, uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they move, their trajectory. Uh, they, they did not have um, an easily explainable pattern. And so, you know, I, th I think that we're, uh, people still take seriously trying to investigate and figure out what that is. Interesting, right? Obama's admission the that Simpsons. there are, in fact, and I'm quoting him here, Interesting. footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are, we can't explain how they moved and their trajectory, end quote, is but that was, in man, keeping come on, with man, a man. We already know all that shit. Oh, it's objects in the sky. Uh, We don't identify them. We can't identify it actually sounds like I'm in a movie, like the president there or something. Like, man, come on, get tell us something more interesting. That shit ain't interesting, what he just said. By official arms of the U.S. government, after decades of denial, that unidentified flying objects are real. Sidebar, believing UFOs are real does not require believing in aliens. UFOs are simply unidentified flying objects. There's no assumption that they contain other life forms. In June, this is going to get very interesting because the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and the Secretary of Defense will be Man, required this, this to provide the Intelligence so fast, and Armed Services I, Committees of Congress damn. with an unclassified report on what's called unidentified I can't, aerial I can't phenomena. Keep guy. That requirement, this is totally fascinating, was tucked into the massive $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus package passed by Congress and signed into law by then-President Donald Trump in late 2020. And it's not just the report that's coming to Congress, although that's gonna be amazing. As CNN's Harmeet Kaur noted, quote, that report must contain detailed analyses of UFO data and intelligence collected by the Office of Naval Intelligence, the Unidentified okay, okay, Aerial on, Phenomena on, Task Force, okay. and the FBI, according okay. to the Senate Intelligence Committee's uh -huh. directive. It should also describe in detail an interagency process for ensuring timely data collection and centralized analysis of all unidentified aerial phenomena reporting for the federal government and designate like an official responsible for cap. that process, end quote. All of which represents by far the most the U.S. government has ever publicly discussed. Oh, I paused it on my boy. <laughs> but I feel like this shit is cap, man. This is cap. Like something about this, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like, you know what I mean? It's been revealed, but something fishy going on, man. It's cap, man. Folks, 
for many years, and this is not interesting. Harry of Nevada was a lonely voice in Congress. Like, we ain't really been told nothing of UFOs. It to be Back in 07, Reed pushed for the creation of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, known as ATIP, which was housed within the Department of Defense and about which almost nothing was or is really known. In a 2017 profile of ATIP, headline, Glowing Auras and Black Money, the Pentagon's Mysterious UFO Program. All right, I'll read headline writers. The New York Times wrote this, quote, The Defense Department has never before acknowledged the existence of the program, which it says it shut down in 2012. But its backers say that, while the Pentagon ended funding for the effort at that time, the program remains in existence. For the past five years, they say, officials with the program have continued to investigate episodes brought to them by serving members, while also carrying out their other Defense Department duties." End quote. Now, Reed, in an interview for the show Nevada Newsmakers back in 2019, was unapologetic about the $22 million he had earmarked for ATIP during his time in the Senate. Here's Reed, quote, we know that China is doing it, he said in reference to studying UFOs, adding this, we know that mm -hmm. Russia, which is being led by someone within the KGB, is doing it too, so we better take a look at it too. We got a volume of research that was done, mm. $22 million worth of research. It showed that not two people, not four people, or six people, or 20 people, but hundreds and hundreds of people have seen these things, sometimes all at the same time, end quote. Which is, let's be honest, a very good point. Sure, we all like to laugh about little green men landing on Earth, but the national security I mean, implications of... I, I don't know. I guess I guess that is the the base of the topic, like, right now. Like, I, I don't know, like, the fact that it's being acknowledged, like, people are accepting it. I think that's the first wave that's coming, that's passing by. Like, everybody, people that ain't never would have thought they would acknowledge this shit is acknowledging this shit, so that's just being spoken about right now. Like, oh, okay, hey, hey, this shit is real. Like... Ah, that what I'm feeling like, like, cause it's, I mean, what, 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 they ain't really saying nothing. Like all these videos coming up, this shit ain't really saying nothing. What's going on? Like, okay, we talking about, you know, people acknowledging it. Cool. Oh, I found out that back in 2017, this government acknowledged it. Well, then they acknowledged it. Okay. You know what I mean? Obama. Okay, he saying something. Ain't nothing he said. All he said was what they showed in the movies <laughs> forever and ever. Like, come on, man. Oh, um, we identify our objects. We have been seeing objects that are not identified. So, I mean, just, I mean even I feel like I'm, I'm starting to mumbo jumbo. Say a bunch of nothing, bro. This shit, come on, man. I'm, man, what the fuck? Crafts of indefinite origin and without any That's known the show tracking, I used to tell everybody jetting about through the our airspace. <laughs> Are significant. In April 2020, I knew when that the Pentagon shit was real. Three man, I knew all that shit was real when I was a kid, man. The Jetsons, that was, that was like, I ain't even try to watch that show. It was just on around me. And I just attached to that shit when the kid. I knew all that shit was real, man. Hey, I'm talking about for y'all motherfucking so, but they time. Hey, unidentified aerial about. phenomenon, which amounted to a huge breakthrough in the government's acknowledgement of their existence. Reed was. He wasn't surprised. Quote, I'm glad the Pentagon is finally releasing this footage, but it only scratches the surface of research and materials available, tweeted Reed, adding, quote, the U.S. needs to take a serious scientific look at this and any potential national security implications. The American hey, people deserve cool to be informed. That people and in the wake of Obama's late cool. night comments in May, Reed wrote a New York Times op-ed insisting that, quote, focusing on little green men or conspiracy theories won't get us far. Of course, whatever the science tells us, some portion of the public will Will continue to believe in the reality of otherworldly UFOs as a matter of faith. Ultimately, the UFO debate can be broken down into a sincere belief in science versus a sincere belief in extraterrestrials. I side with science, end quote. Eat the phone home. Oh, well, it's was, not clear yet. I like that. I like that. That was uh that was Harry, Harry Reed. What did I see? Let me see. I like that. Ultimately the UFO da 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 da, da yeah. I like that. Versus a sincere belief in extraterrestrials. I side with science. That was a cool statement. Deep, deep, oh, no. 
Well, it's not clear yet they what the unclassified the reports of Congress uh, will say exactly. What is clear is that the existence the of UFOs shit. is now being taken seriously and publicly acknowledged at all levels of government. In an interview with Fox News' oh, Maria Bartiromo in March, John Ratcliffe, who served as the Director of National Intelligence in the Trump administration, suggested the coming June report might be a blockbuster. Frankly, there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. We're talking about objects that it's have been seen. It's a little crazy than black buses. Navy it's like Air Force pilots have been before, picked like... up by satellite imagery that, um, uh, frankly, um, engage in actions that are difficult to explain, that um, movements that, uh, that are hard to replicate, that we don't have Yo. the technology for, or traveling at speeds that you know exceed the sound barrier I without a, a sonic video. boom. Look at that video that they, they were showing. I ain't never seen that shit. But anyway, man, hold on. I need to see this shit. You know, exceed the sound barrier without a, a sonic boom. Boom! In other words, the truth is out there. And that God. is the point. Well, y'all nigga know what time it is. Your boy ATL and Z, man. CNN. Is it the bullshit? Is it the fuck shit? Man, come on now. Clip baiting me and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like Bomber said nothing interesting. But it is cool to everybody taking like a cool, you know what I mean, approach to this shit, to this whole UFO thing, situation we got going on. It's your boy, all my aliens. <laughs> Thank you.